it, it's the sweep. I ain't talking when the dust I'm a star. Bitch, I'm a star. Uh, me and Smiley, y'all, y'all. Just out there, be on the lookout for cash. That's the thing, that's the whole problem. Capitalism in its premise is a class struggle between the capital owners or the bosses and the capital producers or the workers. Even though capitalists require workers though, they're incentivized to treat them like shit. Your boss is incentivized to pay you less. The problem though is that a business also requires consumers and the vast majority of consumers are workers. And in pursuit of endless growth, which is what all capitalists want, they will continue raising the prices to extract more money from their consumer base. A successful capitalist will pay you less and charge you more. And every capitalist is doing this at the exact same time. And every single time we see that it doesn't even matter if you start dropping like flies because they will wring every single penny out of you until they are forced to stop. Capitalism is internally inconsistent. Capitalists ruin capitalism. My brother recently tagged me in this awesome looking apple rose tea. I'm gonna try to remake it. It did start to unwind a little bit, but it looks great. I didn't say I don't want to come to an office potluck. I said I don't want to organize one, but I could bring plates. I'm not too old to be an intern, but I'm also not an intern. We're, we're in my office right now. I'm actually a terrible party planner. I'm not fun. That sounds like a question you should ask a doctor. You have so many ideas for the party. It sounds like you would do a great job planning it yourself. You know, I don't know why your wife is mad at you. I could guess, but I don't know for sure. Somebody sleeping in my I be kicking out on a what? Shorty a daddy, he broke up fuck. She be tweaking, she shake a hot butt, and that boy's a cheater, the red eye he Community service is not hot. Rehab, that's not hot. Jail is not hot. Hillary Duff is not hot. I'm Got another shorty, she ain't nothing like me. Yeah. Gotta catch another fight. The apple bottom make him wanna bite. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up. Three everyday things invented by black people. One, the heater. A black woman named Alice Parker designed and patented a natural gas-fueled heating furnace in December 1919. Her invention led to the creation of the thermostat and the forced air furnaces we have in most homes today. Two, the egg beater. In 1884, Willis Johnson of Cincinnati, Ohio patented the mechanical egg beater, turning the grueling work of beating eggs and batters into an easy five-minute task. His design is the predecessor to the modern electric mixer. Three, folding chairs. While folding chairs had been in use in a variety of cultures prior to this, in 1911, in Lynchburg, Virginia, Nathaniel Alexander patented a folding chair that included a book rest on the back for the person sitting in the seat behind. At the time, it was popularly used in schools, churches, choirs, and other auditoriums. Bing bong! We did it! We... Bing bong? Repeat after me. Cool girls wear Birkenstocks. Stop fucking crying, bitch! Where, where, where? I don't wanna fucking hear it! 
It has occurred to me that I might have too much money. Yeah, actually, that's that's correct. Not that that's actually possible, but my my PR people said whatever. Um, what matters is that I'm I'm pledging to do something about it. You're gonna pay us more? No. Why would I do that? Because it would allow us to comfortably afford food, housing, and the ability to live without fear of being financially ruined by a medical event. The only thing to fear is actually fear itself. It would also help with the problem you're having, you know, where you have too much money. That's why I'm pledging to donate it. And you're totally sure that you're not interested in fostering a market that pays people enough to not need charity? It doesn't sound like there are any galas for that. So you're gonna donate it. I'm pledging to donate it, yes. When are you thinking about doing that? Well, I formed an exploratory committee, actually. Yeah, it's really difficult to give money away. You probably wouldn't get it. You're right. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't understand that. Cringe. No, because y'all ain't hearing us. When we say fuck a turf, fuck a swerve, we're not saying like, feminism is a great idea, but some people take it too far. That's the lie that the word radical is telling you, right? That's their marketing. But it couldn't be further from the truth. Okay, the legacy of feminism that exists in the white colonized world comes from the suffragette movement, right? In the US specifically, this was cis white women with money advocating for their right to have a vote. To have a vote to elect officials into a government that was actively, and still is, actively committing genocide against indigenous people of the continent. And in a society in which wealth and status was directly correlated to chattel slavery. To elect officials into that government, okay? They did not want freedom for all people oppressed under the patriarchy whatsoever. They wanted the white man's power. They wanted to own slaves. They wanted to commit genocide. They wanted a say in the horror. And that is still what they want, right? That's where girl boss, girl CEO comes from. That's where choice feminism comes from. And not only do these cis white women who are middle and upper class not have the rest of our best interests at heart, they don't even have their own best interests at heart. Like, let's look at what are the main issues that mainstream feminism purports to address, right? It's things like domestic violence, sexual violence, medical misogyny, a wage gap, discriminatory laws and policies, rape culture, negative depictions in the media, discrimination in the workplace, unsafe and insecure housing, etc. right? Just a sample set. Every single one of those issues affects trans people more and worse than it affects cis women. Every single one of those issues affects sex workers more and worse than it affects civilians. So one would think that if you were trying to address those issues, you would go to the people who know most about them, right? Cis white women are a member of an, a marginalized group, right? Of everybody who's oppressed under cis patriarchy. But they are the most privileged among that group. And this isn't like a, therefore they're not oppressed. This is like, if you care about your own oppression, you would look to the people who are the most oppressed by this type of marginalization for their wisdom, because they literally know the most about it. So if you consider yourself a feminist, which like at this point, I just don't use that word unless I'm talking about causes outside of the Western canon. But if you do, check in with me on these two statements. One, trans people know more about misogyny than cis women do. And two, sex workers know more about exploitation under capitalism than civilians do. If either of those statements feel itchy to you and make you uncomfortable, that's where to start your work. Start prioritizing and centering those voices in your feminism or you will never achieve your goals. Happy New Year. Also, I look handsome today. Ooh. Are you struggling with gentle parenting and not using traditional punishment methods? Try focusing on consequences. Instead of saying this, Hey, you're not doing a good job getting ready for bed, so we're gonna have to take a book away. Try this. Hey buddy, just a reminder, we have to be in bed by eight o'clock, so we only have so much time for books. The longer you take, the less time we have to read. Like and follow for more healthy communication tips and tricks.
old Burlesque post top surgery. I really love this. More yellow. My old bitty started falling out of this one. Not sure how this will look. Work bitch. Swimsuit. Not a fan. This is what I always wish I'd look like in these fits. The gender chaotic euphoria is real. How t ass did my biddies fit in this? Did I steal it from my sister? Well, she's definitely not getting it back. Okay, bye. Shit like this brings the movement down. Everyone's a feminist until there is a spider around.